Before Danica Patrick and uh, Jennifer Jo Cobb, we had Shauna Robinson in Cup. Um, she was quite the racer. She was probably the best female driver NASCAR has had. Now, I'm not talking about the top three series. I'm talking about the touring divisions. I'm talking about Goody's Dash. I'm talking about uh, series like that. She was the first female to win a one of those top level NASCAR series races. Sure, it was in the top three series. In her cup run, which was this car, was very forgettable, but we can't forget that Shauna Robinson was one of the real trailblazers and record setters uh, in NASCAR. She was the first female to win a Bush Series poll, which probably really upset ESPN when they were covering it because they were like, man, we wanted her to be the first, we wanted Danica to be the first female to win a poll. But no, Shauna Robinson was the first female to win a NASCAR Bush Series poll at Atlanta in 1994. I remember the Polaroid car. I actually had it in my collection for a while. I think I got rid of it, though. I don't know. I'd have to look. Everything's all packed away. But I've done enough talking about Shauna's accomplishments. We'll do that maybe a little later. Uh, but racing champions and a lot of the diecast makers didn't like making unsponsored cars like this because they felt like they didn't sell. You know, nobody's going to buy a pure white car with a red number on it or whatever. But uh, Shauna's did sell very well. And I'm, I'm always surprised when... You know, diecast makers take a risk like this and produce these unsponsored cars because it really is a risk, and it's something nice to have in your collection. I had the 124 of this at one time. I can get another one if I really wanted to. Um, there's a flea market in Salisbury, North Carolina, with a few of these in it. And, uh, yeah, I remember buying mine, my first Shauna 164 at... Um, KB Toys in the Wassa Center Mall. It was like two bucks, and I was like, oh my god, they actually made this? <laughs> because at that time, we didn't have these lists. We didn't have wave information like that. They just came in random boxes, and you got what you got. And Racing Champions was really well known for making these underfunded teams, like Bam Racing and Andy Petrie Racing, and uh, especially their 2002 car. Um, let's see, who else did they? They made quite a few different teams. Uh, especially BAM Racing. They made all of their uh, cars. Action made the 2004 uh, Schwann's car. There's another one I gotta watch out for my lisp about. <laughs> but yeah, that was about it, I think. Because I remember I have the CLL ATT car with Carrot Top on it. I have the Schwann's 04, Schwann's 05. I have this one. I really loved BAM Racing. I really did. And I have the Pit Crew vest for Bo Brent Sherman's. Uh, crew. It's actually Robbie Benton's old one. Fun fact, he was the co-owner of uh, the 96 car that raced, that DJ Kennington raced in the Daytona 500 in 2017. Um, but yeah, looking at the car, it's plain white, BAM racing on the hood, BAM racing on the sides with the breast cancer awareness logo on, or decal on there. I've never, I've never found out what uh, the top logo, the blue one, means. I know the second one is Dodge. And on the bumper is nothing but rookie stripes. She had a really... Uh, Shauna Robinson really had a rough rookie season. She was... Um, she wrecked Junior one race. I think it was at Texas or something. And uh, that's about it. That was how memorable it was. And she was the first female to start in the Daytona 500 in quite a while. But that was the only highlights of her season. And there she goes. Uh, I'm still not a fan of that... Uh, this number font, it's really blocky and gross, but hey, we got a Shauna Robinson one, and it's mostly unsponsored. So, if you like what you saw today, comment, like, and subscribe for more, and I will see you later.